Hello! In the previous videos, we discussed the formative assessment, how to assess the progress of learning, and the summative assessment, the final result, the attained learning. In this final video, we will discuss the assessment of two types of competences, disciplinary and transversal. During the CBL activity, students are to develop both disciplinary competences and more general transversal competences, which are also referred to as the 21st century skills, future work skills, or soft skills. Disciplinary competences include the knowledge, skills, and abilities related to the subject at hand and to the relevant professional practice. For instance, if you are learning the subject of, let's say, artificial intelligence, everything related to artificial intelligence will be the discipl disciplinary competences. Various methods discussed in the formative and summative assessment videos can be used to assess dis disciplinary competences. On the other hand, transversal competences are developed during various disciplines and are necessary for the graduate's quality of life as well as quality of the profession. Transversal competences are also called horizontal, generic or general competences, soft or transfer transversible skills. According to UNESCO, transversal skills are increasingly in high demand for learners to successfully adapt to changes and to lead meaningful and productive lives. Skills that are typically considered as not specifically related to a particular job, task, academic discipline or area of knowledge, and then can be used in a wide variety of situations and work settings, for example, organizational skills. UNESCO gives six categories of transversal skills. Critical and innovative thinking, interpersonal skills, intrapersonal skills, global citizenship, media and information literacy, and others. Other examples could include problem solving, communication, teamwork, and leadership. In CBL, the most frequent transversal competences are working in teams, problem solving, decision making, critical thinking, leadership, and communication. Let us consider an example. Let's imagine that your challenge is to resolve a virus problem, its origin and management in your country. The resolution of the challenge should be developing students both transversal competences such as, let's say, collaborative work, problem solving, critical th thinking, and ethics, as well as disciplinary competences related to understanding the virus, how it is originating, spreading, mutating, and what are the most effective management techniques. 